morning everybody how is things just coming just picking a few things before we do the, the main task today and the main task today is i'm going to decide on the on the roof hut just want some feedback as well any thoughts of you i've got some possible ideas there's quite a few of the bees knocking around there so i might go around the other way to see it to talk about it but i just want to back on teas again so we're doing roasted carrots tonight well i am there you go so my name if you don't know is tony smith and this is my allotment do subscribe the show if you subscribe the show i'll give you 10 years good gardening look by god i need that myself hit the bell icon and the thumbs up and that would be fantastic it'll just let you know when i put up new videos Right, so I'm just going to get these veg now. A little bit. Like I say, these are going for roasted carrots in the oven. Bit of garlic, bit of garlic. Possibly, well, I'm saying garlic. Bit of olive oil and possibly some garlic. Look at that. Both spirally ones together there. I'm doing charred roasted carrots. What else? Baked potatoes and a bit of like vegetarian corn, I think. Just got a little Savoy cabbage as well. So hopefully we'll be in the good books. There we go. Right. So let's talk about the build the big build or oh, the i'm still in two minds whether to do a big build and do like a, a greenhouse conversion you think that's just might be away from me so i had some great comments off you and some great ideas as well and see this is the only bit of felt i've got which is probably a bit old and gone at the moment let's just Get these ladders up because oh, I know where the problem is. Well, it's actually, you know, I guess anyone could see the problem why it leaks is this little bit here. And what I think's happening is it's getting in here, you know what I mean? Because we get a lot of the rain coming this way, blowing in, and that's the only way I can think of, unless. It might be now coming down there. So, so let's have a look. I know I'm bloody high up as well. Let's just get a little bit further. What I'm thinking, a couple of things. I think this is going to come off and I think I'm going to cover this little kind of window bit here because it's, it's neither use nor ornament. Now, I've got some, and thank you for everyone, because every, a lot of people said the, like the black bitumen tar, just paint that on, put your felt on, you're good to go, which is a great thing. I'm not disputing that, but it's just a bit messy and a bit, I don't know, just claggy, and I'm not sure what it's like, you know, if like, say if I do start collecting water, what it's like for collecting water, you know, like rain water, is it? So I was thinking as well, big thank you to a couple of people that mentioned like they say they're putting like a pond liner down. That was a good idea as well. Just like a more durable plastic and just battening it down, which would work as well, I think. I think that wouldn't be a, a problem. It's just, I don't know. Well, what I'm thinking of, as a couple of people mentioned as well, is like corrugated sheets of metal and just put this down, I'm not sure what this is. Is this probably about two meters by three meters, something like that, two and a half by... So what I want to do is just kind of measure, just to get a rough idea, because I've got, you know, these sheets come in. Well, actually, let me, oh, steady, so, <laughs> two hands, John. Let's see if I can clip you somewhere. So, yes, 
six foot up high up I've got my glasses as well so all so the pond liner actually come on I tightened my glasses so they wouldn't fall off pond liners 2 by 2 something went round about 12 2.5 by 2.5 12 12 meters swell UK pond liner so that's, and that's going off Amazon I would like that but like I say I'm thinking about this corrugated stuff now the corrugated stuff and I'll put links to these things so you can just kind of see you get 12 sheets of this Dubua corrugated roof it's like a kind of I guess a little like square thing and these are it's 100 1290 millimeters by 450 and you get 12 sheets so it's seven meters squared you get and that is 59.99 in stock if it's too small and I'm screwed what's that Nah, it's not going to work neither. <laughs> Is that right? Right, so after much mathematical workings out, that's 1290. Ah, that's no good. Yeah, I could, but I don't want to, you know, like put another lot on. I'm not sure. What did I say I got you get there? Do you, you get 12? I didn't want to double it up, I would like ideally just like one length. So I think, I think it's the pond liner, to be honest. That's what I'm thinking. Pond liner with buttons. I don't want to go for felt, and it just didn't seem to work. But if I put a few buttons down, right, come on, let's get this one. Let's bloody get out and get me, get me phone first. Oh, oh. That's a bugger. I was kind of had my heart set on them corrugated things, but I do want to, like you say, mix, like have them on. I just wanted a one length so the water would just run. So, excuse me, just turn you that way. It's going to be the pond liner. Right. Right, that's what it's going to be, I think. I'm ordering it today. <laughs> Am I? Oh, man. Oh. Right then, picked a couple of nice size aubergines as well, just to, for later on, they were getting a bit big. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, no, I'm actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, Possibly put some of my plastic over first, this plastic, and then the, the, the thing, you staple that on, and then put some lats on as well to keep that down. That's the next job. <laughs> Unless you just come back and tell us something different. So, look after yourselves. <laughs> Take good care. <laughs>